Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're unboxing Great Ball Hobbies F15E Strike Eagle in 70 second scale. The kit offers planes from Operation Endurance Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom and it is a new tooling from 2017. The box that the kit comes in is not a big one and it looks quite nice for a 70 second scale kit boxing. Box art is a sunrise or sunset landing F-15E with a decent amount of armament and a shark mouth nose art. Once the box is opened we can see that it is a bit crowded inside. Everything is packed in plastic bags which are not sealed permanently but can be opened and closed without damaging them. There is a lot of weapons on those sprues which is something that you can expect getting a Strike Eagle version. There is a sheet with 6 profiles of different F-15Es, all of them in the standard that are grey, monochrome instructions and couple of decal sheets. The instruction sheet is a bit of a letdown. The kit is not a cheap one and the contents are superb with the sole exception of those instructions. It is some sort of a booklet, but it does not feature a good arrangement. It looks more suitable for a cheap kit rather than 2017 tooling with good qualities. The 3D renders shown might provide easier assembly for some, but I personally think that this isn't the right way to make instructions. There is little or no explanation seen here, like on the contemporary instruction sheets available with other major players on the scale modeling market. Actually, the only thing that looks decent and familiar with this instruction sheet here is the outer pages which feature the sprue description on the inside and the front and the back covers of the instruction sheet on the outside. This might create some additional difficulties for those that are using this for their first kit. Fortunately, this is one of the very few things that is not good about this F15 set. The rest is pretty great. Sprues are made from light grey plastic and are all separately packed. Protection in this case is of great importance since the details visible on that 70 second scale kit are astonishing. That of course means that any potential damage to the surface might ruin the project. Sometimes in 70 second scale it's too difficult to fix something just because everything is rather small here. The riveting and the panel lines plus the number of details overall is easily comparable with some 48 scale kits and even with some 30 second scale too. It is too early for me to judge the fit and the engineering, but everything looks quite nice at first glance. As you can see the detail is consistent. The bottom of the kit is just as detailed as the top. Gear wells, fuselage, riveting and panel lines as well. Intakes and nozzles impressed me a lot. The last F-15E that I reviewed was 30 second scale Tamiya and I must say that this here looks more fascinating in terms of engraving of the plastic. Of course, this is newer kit. No wonder that Great Wall Hobby gained such fame for such short period of time. They are doing a great job with their kits. Cockpit parts are usually a weak link in the most of the kits. Therefore, a resin substitutes are often needed. Here, everything looks pretty good though. In my opinion, that justifies the high price of this kit. Since the detailing provided out of the box seemed consistent all over, there was no reason for the cockpit and its details not to be the same way. If one put some effort in adding just a few more pieces here, and I mean scratch built, I think the kit with what you see will be great out of the box. The other usual weak link are the wheels, which in this case speak for themselves. They look wonderful. 
it is hard to judge the kit geometrically. But overall it looks like an F15 and in 70 second scale it's difficult to be extremely precise. Every millimeter here leads to bigger error compared to the real thing, while in 30 second scale you have a lot more tolerance. With that said, I believe that I haven't seen better shaped eagle in that scale from the one we see here. It is true that the panel lines and the riveting is a bit exaggerated, but in this scale there is no other way around it. Besides, once built, this will give you a good base for weathering, which is important knowing that the F15E are single tone camouflage and some serious work with shades while painting is required to get the desired effects. It is true also that, as you can see, some of the details are a bit thick. Again, in that scale, this is inevitable. With all that in mind, I have to say the kit looks wonderful. The abundance of ordnance available for F-15E is one of the most important things concerning this particular eagle. We have plenty here, spread out throughout few spruce. F-15I repack is coming out soon, so for Israeli rams the weapons loads will come very handy too. Detail on those sprues is great, as with the rest of the kit. Even though many find working on weapons boring, having a fully loaded plane with all that will change the overall look drastically, and the way that things are molded here does nothing but help. The good news is that some of the weapons are single piece moldings which will save some time eventually. Another usual weak link in a kit are the seats. That is why there are so many resin substitutes for those. It is visible here that on these sprues both the nozzles and the seat details are good enough. With proper painting and weathering I believe that there will be no need for any additional aftermarket parts for this kit. Again, a justification of the high price that it has. In my opinion though, it gives you a complete package, something that you can hardly find anywhere nowadays. Well, besides the instruction sheet. Same goes for the clear parts. They cannot be thin enough in that scale. However, the way that they are molded here is quite satisfactory. There is a seam line that needs to be removed and then the canopy polished. But this is a feature that most of the bigger scale kits has, so it is nothing new. Good overall looks and great quality. Next thing we'll take a look at is the paint guide sheet. The colors are far from what they should be, so I would suggest to use picture reference and eventually color schemes featured in other kits so to be sure that you will do everything properly. You can use this here to apply decals properly of course. Strike Eagle is pretty straightforward paint process in general so it should be no problem. Six options are available and more or less they look alike. Mainly those differ from the tail markings and the small yellow or tiger stripes seen on the vertical stabilizers. They are presented as a separate decal, not packed with the rest of the decal sheet. Plain yellow here can be easily painted, but the tiger stripes will be more difficult if you decide to make it by hand. Not impossible, of course. Alongside with that small sheet, there are two big sheets with all the rest, which is a lot. It is written that decals are made in China. What is the quality one can only guess at that point, but I haven't heard any Syrians complaints about Great Wall hobby decals so far. Some of them like the dashboard will be useless for many, but it is a good that we have them especially in that scale. There are many technical markings of all kinds and colors and hopefully they will adhere to the surface properly. In that scale, every little bubble is a huge trouble. 
The decal film is thin but cannot be thin enough in 70 seconds and that is a fact. Colors are great, shape of everything looks fine and the additional individual patches and emblems are made with devotion. I like the looks of it a lot and let's hope that they will work just as good as they look. So, to conclude, the Strike Eagle here is strikingly good. One of the first kits that I built back in the day was F-15 from Airfix back in 1990. The kit here has nothing to do with that. It is comparable with the bigger scales available in the market and if it wasn't for the lousy instruction sheet I would have said that this kit is one of the best packs available. But even with that, this is very very good option for eagle lovers. Have in mind that this, once built, is with approximately the size of 48 scale F-16. So it's pretty big and very well detailed too for 70 second scale. I can only highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, subscribe and hit the like button. Don't forget to comment down below and share your thoughts about this kit or other great wall kits. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one.